Okay, okay, I know. What in the world is this title? How can winning make you bad at Fortnite and what even does that mean? I'm glad you asked me. Let me explain. Does this sound like you? So here's some average Fortnite competitive player, not good or bad. And he always wonders why he isn't good at the game yet or he hasn't gone pro and he's been playing for such a long time. Because while well, he plays like 8 hours a day and he's still not pro. Well, how about we look at what you do in those 8 hours? Okay, 1v1 realistics, that's good, nice. Wait, who are you versing? Huh? How was the score 15 to 1 while you're winning? Bruh. Where'd you find this player? Why is it so bad? Well anyways, what do you do after those? Okay, okay, ranked arena? That's pretty good I guess, but wait, you're going into tree. I guess that's fine. But wait, you're spectating your teammates and they both have 15 kills each and you have one kill. Bruh. Okay, anyways, are you gonna play scrims? Wait, what are you doing? You have access to pro scrims and you're playing open huh? scrims right now. Okay, stop. I know exactly what's going on. There's a reason you aren't good at this game yet. You're addicted to winning. Bruh. This will probably sound relatable to you guys, at least to a small degree. You're like at the skill now where you're pretty good at the game compared to the average person that plays. So it's so easy to get people that you converse and it makes makes you feel like you're just the best player ever and obviously that's just so fun to do because it just gives you a quick dopamine rush so you don't feel bad about yourself but it's not really doing anything for you in terms of improvement Bruh. which if you're watching this channel I assume that's the main reason you play this game and practice to go pro and instead of that you should be seeking the opportunities to like lose as much as possible and get demolished as much as possible get like a player in realistics that you can first that will maybe beat you 17 to 3 so you're like basically getting demolished but there's still a slight chance you can kill them so you're still like trying you know like obviously maybe if you're like terrible at the game you versus one of the best players in the game and you just don't even have a chance to shoot them that's probably not a good idea but you need someone that will still demolish you and then maybe even play solo arena so you have to rely on yourself and then play the hardest scrims you have access to even though that might not even be fun because you don't even have a good drop spot on there compared to the open scrims you play and also maybe you don't even really get in game much in those scrims so you're like i don't really want to play let me just play the easier scrims because i can just pop off and then you might cope being like well, it's kind of just good playing those because you can learn how to pop off an end game. Well, that's stupid by the way. Like back in the day when I used to play Fortnite competitive as well, I was also guilty of doing this. I was like, mm, I don't really feel like playing pro scrims because I know I have like access to these easier scrims that I can just land at the best drop spot and just pop off and like win every single game with 15 kills and people think I'm so good and it'll be so fun. Compared to like the pro practice where suddenly I'm like, like at the bottom of the skill gap in the whole lobby. And if only I knew it was a stupid, stupid decision to play those easier scrims. Seeking a lot of challenge and things that will make you uncomfortable and eventually humble you will like put you on your toes at all times and make you realize, oh, I've actually got a long way to improve and there's actually a lot I need to work on. Because once you just always verse people that you can beat, you kind of get comfortable with where you're at and you don't try as hard as you would if you were getting demolished. This is the same thing with anything else in life. You will always notice yourself gravitating towards like what's going to give you the quickest success and the quickest dopamine. But in reality, is deterring you from your end goal. You need to get obsessed with trying to put yourself in situations that will make you lose and will make you fail miserably. Winning comes from losing.